McDonald. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the action. Coming to you live from Belgium. And who will join Michael Van Gogh in the final? We're about to find out as the Professional Dance Corporation proudly presents the Unibet European Dance Championship, our second semi-final. Coming to you live on ITV Sport, it's time to meet the players. Ladies and gentlemen, the former European champion and two-time back-to-back -back champion of the world. semi-finals for the first time, the reigning champion of the world, the fine Scotman, Gary Anderson! Chris Mason has hot-footed it to the commentary box. He said it'd be too close to call, but he'll be calling it now along with Stuart Pike. Yes, and I concur. Should be really close. Lewis against Gary Anderson for the right to play Michael Van Gerwen in the final of the 2015 European Championship. Adrian Lewis after that dramatic last leg decider against Phil Taylor. And he will be buoyed by that. Here we are, eighth staging of this European Championship and the first time in the semi-final for the world champion, Gary Anderson. Michael Van Gerwen gets an hour off. It's down to business for Messrs Anderson and Lewis. I'd pay to watch this one myself. And the last one. First Close was that for a comeback. Yeah, for Peter Wright again, yet again, a case of 16. what might have been as he chases the dream of a first major. Michael Van Gerwen finding a way to win in the end. Lewis against Anderson. Um, These two know each other well. Well, they do. They do indeed. But how about this? Adrian Lewis hasn't beaten Gary Anderson in a major TV ranking event this is the world final of 2011. 83. Now that is a stat. He has beaten him on the TV screens, but not in a major ranking event. Will this be the night for Lewis to break the spell? Or can the world champ go through to make it world number one against world number two in the final here in Belgium? Just wonder how much epic tussle with Taylor is taken out of Adrian. Fifty-seven. Well, not the visit that Anderson wanted. Travel nineteen for Lewis. Double sixteen. What a start this would be. Oh. What a start this is. Fantastic from Adrian Lewis. Statement of intent. 140. Lewis has won this event. 134. Looks in good nick here, doesn't he? Yeah, he's coming off a, had a bit of an illness for a while. He had pneumonia. 56. Infection which which went on his lungs and yeah, it's a still not a hundred percent. Ninety-eight. But this will be played at a lovely pace and rhythm. Yeah, suits both. One hundred and forty. Gary usually takes a little while to get going. 
96. second match of the day. Yeah, he was 3-1 down against Klassen. Mm. Finally got him to the groove, didn't he? Winning 10-6, comfortably in the end. 125. Yeah, lovely from Gary Anderson to leave. Tops. Trouble 19, the shot. 136. Bit of pressure on this now for the world champ. Should be a good guy for him. Should be. 30. Junior required 36. Now well, pays the price. Adrian pays the price. Three clear Adrian darts Adrian for Gary Anderson to make it one apiece, and Adrian Lewis dishes out the punishment. One hundred. Fortunately, a race to 11. 60. So there's no need for Gary to panic, although he will be annoyed at those three missed darts. At his favourite tops. 96. The first one was nowhere near. No. It's perfect. Overpitched. 140. It's either feast or famine for Adrian Lewis at the European Championship. He either loses first round or he gets to the final. <laughs> Four first round defeats, but when he gets past the first round, he reaches the final. Fell at the first hurdle four times, reached three finals. Will history repeat itself tonight here in Hassel? 58. We'll need to 140 here, Anderson. That's a good start. 180 will do. 140. Yeah, he's in 126. Another one of those. Bullseye! 101. Well, needs this, Anderson. Yep. After his errors in the second leg. He's going to go full 19s for tops. No. Well, he may have missed three darts to win the second leg. That was classy. 1-1-6. One, one, Back on throw. Anderson looking to make it a level game in this semi-final. 58. Perfect first dart for Lewis. 100. Hence, he will be disappointed with just a hundred. One hundred and thirty-four. Yeah, lovely switch from the world champ. They played each other in the final of the players' championships last year. One hundred and forty. Gary winning on that occasion. Like I said, they not a win in a major. Best part of five years. Yeah, well, Anderson's win at the Players' Championship, of course, was the the catalyst for everything that followed, winning a World Championship and a Premier League. But, yeah, 11-6, the final in Minehead. Last November. 55. Oh, good chance for Lewis here. It's a blocker. Didn't take advantage. Well, just take it out, 116. 13 for tops. Back-to-back -to -back plus finishes. It's two apiece. It's warming up nicely. Two of the most prolific maximum scorers, and they've not had one yet. Wouldn't have predicted that. 85. A lot of respect for each other's game. Practicing together earlier. Yeah, good pals. 42. Just 20 minute gap between the end of this semi final and the final. 139. Put some pressure on Lewis here. Risking it. 
61. No. Well, 60 points or 59 points on the four as it finished up for Adrian Lewis. Yeah, should have should have switched downstairs. Yeah. Showboating. Just a bit careless. Well, a chance here for Anderson to make it three legs on the spin. Here, Philip. Oh. Leaves 28. How about that? Well, that's a, no maximum on the treble 20s, but that's a, a maximum on the 19s. Well, Anderson missed three darts in the second leg. He's been perfect since on the doubles, and after being 2-0 down, the world champion hits the front in this semi-final. Adrian Lewis is staying out to practice. Anderson leads 3-2 here in Hasselt.